and I'm here tonight with one of my favorite models. Her name is Leah, and we're going to be doing a bit of like a bit of a restyle here. So I'm so excited about this. Uh, so uh, we also have my favorite favorite camera person. Her name is Jennifer, and so she's going to be filming us tonight. So I'm very grateful to be here. Uh, I'm going to be creating a very short, uh, kind of creative, uh, short ladies uh, hairstyle with working with disconnection and also working with layering and also graduation. So a lot of it uh, is kind of like almost a bit like freestyle in a way. So I'm not going to be doing lots of uh, disconnected panels, you know, pre-second uh, already. So I'm really kind of going to work with the feeling of the hair and also you'll see I'm going to be doing a lot of texturizing at the very end. So what I'll be doing is because for the other side, as you can see, um, I've already taken this shorter already and working with sections, vertical sections, working from shorter to longer. So I'm keeping a little bit of like hair by the hairline and then working a bit of graduation in the back. So we're really going into her nape area and then you'll see on the top, I'll be working from shorter to longer, but then I'm going to be doing a really cool shorter fringe area or bang area with some long bits coming over and lots of cool texture. So yeah, so it's going to be really cool. Uh, I'm very excited to be able to work on Leah. It's the first time I'm actually cutting her hair. And so we're going to see what happens, right? So hopefully uh, she'll like what, uh, what I'm doing. So, But yeah, so guys, so if you have any questions, please feel free. Uh, to to ask uh, Jennifer here is my will be your voice and uh, yeah so so everyone please tell us where you're from and uh, yeah so this moment you'll see I'll be working over my fingers working shorter to longer so I'm keeping some length in the perimeter and you'll see afterwards I'm really going to be texturizing it to give a tiny bit of like a softer result so something that's going to be uh, a bit of fun for Leah, and uh, yeah, just gonna have a bit of fun and uh, a bit of excitement. So, yeah. so you'll see that by taking vertical sections, I'm gonna be flattening down the hair. Uh, when Leah came in today, <laughs> I didn't realize how thick her hair was. Um, so it's extraordinarily thick. And uh, if you see here, what I've done was just separated from the parietal ridge area. So I'm just pushing this over, and then I'll be working from shorter to longer, just where the parietal ridge is. That's where the head tends to round off. And I want to flatten this area down, so when I'm able to create a shorter look internally, than going to longer. So if you have any questions, or if you want to say hello, please let us know. And yeah, we'll take you through this journey of this haircut. We have Sarah Cece saying hello, and she sent loads of stars. Oh, <laughs> hello there, Sarah. Very nice. Where is Sarah from? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe she'll reply. <clears throat> okay, so for myself, I mean, a lot of times when I'm teaching, you know, in the classes and everything, sometimes it's, you know, I deal with a lot of hairdressers that are a bit more... I don't know, like a bit fearful about working with women with shorter lengths of hair. So for myself, it's, you know, even though I teach, I tend to teach a lot of barbering courses, but I love doing women with shorter lengths. Just something that you can, you know, something like this here where you can actually play around with shorter going to some length here to make it a bit more interesting for your client. You know, so I'm going to continue. Still working vertical sections like so. And I'm gonna be standing behind Leah here. Just have a slight bit of over direction. Yeah. And then it's gonna come out, working over my fingers. So I'm gonna be coming this way just for hmm, probably about one or two more sections. Then I'm gonna be working with diagonal sections going into her nape area. So it's going to be, yeah, a lot of fun here. I mean, this is the type of haircut that I want to develop. Um, you know, really want to develop and have a bit of fun. Um, so something that, you know, it's like sometimes it's like when doing even the consultation, 
Um, you know, I had to even say to Leah, okay, let's wash your hair, and then we're gonna see how your hair is kind of like, um, I have to take a look at the texture and really see how it's, you know, developing, you know, how when I'm combing it, when I first do the first haircut, and then I can see and how maybe, how short I need to take in certain areas. But really, a lot of fun, you know, having fun with hair, and uh, yeah. So now, I'm gonna just turn Leah around for a moment. My position here, I'm gonna work inside now. I'm gonna be working inside my fingers. So a lot of times when I'm doing graduation, I'm working inside my fingers, going through here. So then what happens is I'm creating a bit more of like a rounded shape here. So if I possibly want to create something a bit more squarer, then I would possibly maybe change my finger position. It depends if I'm doing layering or the graduation. So. <clears throat> so we have Meg Stork that says, I think long hair tends to be a bit more forgiving, in my experience, but I'd love to learn how to do shortcuts. Pun, pun slightly intended. Yeah, no, it's... Um, <laughs> I get it now. I get it now, yeah. <laughs> At first I didn't get it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think you know what it is. It's, I think, um, a couple things. Like, for example, so I know it's kind of hard to see, like, kind of like, um, like with Leah. So Leah is, oh, I, I think, I think, honestly, I think she's like my daughter from, from years ago or something. <laughs> we both love skateboarding. We, you know, and like, and she's, you know, Leah is just so cool. And I think really, truly, I think she's like my daughter or something. Um, and, but the thing is with Leah, if she had long hair, the thing is, because Leah is a bit shorter than me, okay? So if Leah had very long hair, visually she would appear to other people shorter, okay, than she is because of the long hair bringing her down. That's why shorter hair is actually more suitable for her, plus for her lifestyle, you know, she skateboards, um, and it's just like, and also she's really like a cool, a cool person. So I think the only thing is I think we have to take those things in consideration. So not everybody wants to have long hair. And, you know, so for example, yeah, okay, I'm doing this a bit more interesting, a bit more creative, but it's because Leah is creative, all right? So it's all about that suitability that we want to try to achieve for our clients. And uh, yeah, so at this point here, and you, you can see afterwards I'm going to play around with the hairline. Um, then still I want to still create a vertical panel here because since with my layering I'm working over my fingers, I want to create a bit more of a flatter shape where the head tends to flatten down. Okay. Then by working, pulling this out, I could then go into my graduation from here downwards. From here upwards, I'm working with layering. Then when I go down, I work with graduation. So that's how I know about my, my finger or hand position. So depending on where I am within, you know, where, where I am working on the head. So I'm gonna continue here, said so working with vertical sections. So by working over my fingers, you have a tendency to create a bit more of a flatter shape or a flatter look. And when I work inside my fingers, I have a tendency to almost create a bit more of a slight, bit more of a rounded feeling to the hair. Yeah, so, there we go. So I'm gonna continue, still working vertical sections at this point. I want to make sure, coming out. Just want to have a bit of fun with it, you know? Uh, make this a bit more interesting for Leah. You know, she's trusted me to cut off her mullet. I think, uh, I think it's it was time to move on from the mullet. 
she was actually cutting the mullet herself. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, uh, talk about forgiving. I mean, you know, even Leah said, my hair is so thick. If I, I was cutting it myself and if I made a mistake, you wouldn't even see it because her hair is so thick. I mean, how cool is that? Um, so I'm very grateful that, you know, um, Leah, you know, has trusted me uh, to do her hair for, you know, for this, so. And then um, we will be coloring it. So she's never had hair color before. So she's a color virgin. How amazing is that? So, I mean, that is like finding the holy grail, you know, in the color world. Uh, so we're, we will then have to decide what type of color, you know, uh, you know, offer her some suggestions. And yeah, have some fun with that. We're just taking this continue. There we go. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, please. Coming back the other way. Working side. Just really working with that strong graduation. I'm just going back the other way, just checking that again, going over the occipital bone area. And I'm gonna be checking this. Now, a lot of times, especially when I'm checking shorter styles, a little trick you can do, you see that white line on the scalp here? Okay, the key thing is, and when you're checking your shoulder looks, you want that white line on the scalp to be nice straight across. Because if it's like uneven, that means the haircut is uneven because the short hair will stick out, the long hair, because it's longer, is heavier, will pull down. So that's where you get like a bit of like a baseline because the haircut's uneven. So that's what you're trying to achieve is a nice straighter look with that white line on the scalp. And you can use that as a visual aid to check your haircuts. So going over, just cross-checking. And, and cross-checking is going the opposite way of the way you, you know, you did the haircut. So, I mean, how cool is that? All right. Cool. Is anyone watching, Jen? Oh, wicked, cool. And now it's, uh, it's Leah's first live video, so, uh, you know, um, so I was telling her all about it, you know, how many people will be watching and so forth, so. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just very gently apply a little pressure into the back of the hairline. So I'm just keeping this, I'll be using the trimmer down here. I'm just applying a little bit of pressure you know, it's carving out a bit more of like a nicer, interesting hairline for her. Oh, hello, Christina. <coughs> Christina Dinu from Romania, I think. Oh, hello. Yes. <laughs> um, so I'll be going to Romania uh, next week, actually. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'll be in Romania. So looking forward to that. Unfortunately, Jennifer won't be with me. So she's got to work, so I'll be there by myself. Crying. Crying my eyes out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, without, without uh, my Jenny V. So. She says, nice tip, first time I've heard of it. Thank you. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's, um, I think it's just like, I think when we are checking, you know, it's just like a great way of checking your, your shorter lengths, I mean, what happens as well, it's like when we're working with, with, with female or with men with shorter length of hair, I mean, don't, I mean, don't, like, especially, you know, because it's stepping outside our comfort zone. It's like, don't be, necessarily, don't be worried too much that, you know, it's, uh, it's okay, you know, if we, you know, like, try different lengths and everything, because it's a lot of times, um, it's, it, it's just, you know, it's good to step outside your comfort zone instead of just doing everything like long hair and everything. And of course, you know, we've seen the trend of long hair um, 
you know, become so popular throughout the years, especially with hair color, you know, um, you know, with certain type of the, the hair color, you know, all the freehand coloring techniques, what would happen, um, you know, if, you know, you just need a very simple blank canvas, you know, to work off of or flat canvas. So why the haircuts were just very long and everything, and not lots of layers or anything, but you know, now it's just trying the transition of creating some cool haircuts, you know, for your clients and have some fun. You know, I want I want Leah to come back for another haircut with me. You know, Leah is cool, you know, like I said, she's my you know, like my, my daughter from another mother or whatever. And uh, yeah. So what I'm doing here, so I'm actually working with pivoting sections on the top. So meaning I want to reduce all of, like she's like I can't express in how thick her hair is. I really want to reduce a lot of weight, especially on the internal area on the top. So by going working with pivoting sections like the pizza pie, all right, I'm taking diagonal sections working from shorter to longer. So I'm keeping some length here, but then at the end when it's all dry, I'm gonna have some fun with her with her doing a, like a little bit of a shorter fringe underneath. Well, she's got some cool long bits and really taking a lot of weight off them. So, I'm gonna have a lot of fun creating this for her. Now, Christina Sazix from Romania. I can't believe you remember all the details. Congratulations for everything you're doing. I'm grateful. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, we've, we've had a lot of exciting news this week. Um, so, this earlier this year, I was, uh, I was uh, the men's colorist uh, winner for this award in uh, called Color Awards uh, in England. And then also this... Color World. Oh, Color World, yeah. Color World Awards. It's yeah. difficult to say. And then also this week, uh, we had two good things. Well, the first one... Um, well, the second one's the best thing, but the first one was uh, I won a Wet Shaving Expert of the Year in uh, Scotland. That was really cool. And then I also, myself and your camera lady here, we got engaged. I proposed. So, yay! So, we've had some really cool, exciting things happening this week. Um, so, which is, you know, you know, a lot of cool, exciting, fun things, you know. So, it's a positive week, and then to be here on Hairbrains, you know, I've been, I've been a member of Hairbrains from, oh, for so long. And, uh, and it's like, I've known Gerard for so long. Uh, and also like, I remember I used to say Hairbrain was the Facebook for hairdressers, you know? It just brought so many people together and uh, yeah. Okay, so what I'm now gonna do, I'm now actually need to dry Leah's hair off. So I'm just gonna be applying a blow drying spray and then I'm just gonna use a very flat brush. I'm gonna blow dry this and I really wanna be able to work on it on dry hair. And that's when I'm gonna use just my total uh, personal feeling of the hair. Just so you'll see, I'm gonna be working with texturizing. I'm gonna be working with, you know, just my scissors here. And I'm gonna work with slice cutting. And also something I call it, since Leah is an amazing skateboarder, I'm gonna be doing, um, I call it the Nottis haircut, where, you know, one of my favorite skateboarders from the late 80s, early 90s, and she's gonna do something a bit more interesting with the texture. So, but you'll see, I'm gonna play around with the whole perimeter and just take a lot of weight off for Leah, because like I said, she's got extraordinary thick hair and I really want to make this a very fun style for her to do, so, okay? So I'm just gonna be applying uh, just a blow drying spray. And then I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be using a flat brush and uh, then you'll see, I'm gonna be, just wrap drying, it's cold. So I'm just gonna blow dry first, everything flat to control uh, her hair. Then what will then happen is you'll see, I'm gonna be doing a variety of different type of texturizing techniques, such as point cutting, slice cutting, and knotice cutting, so. Yeah, cool. I wonder if Nadis will ever find out that we know, he have might. a technique with Nadis. I know, he probably beat me up or something. I'll blame it on Leah though. I'll say she made me do it, so. Cool. All right. So, is there any any other questions that I need to know? Christina says, "I think your mother will see very well different colors of the frames you're doing, different from the rest of the head." Oh yeah, we're gonna have a bit of fun with the frames. 
Um, I think what the, one of the beautiful things is, is like when I first saw Leah, uh, we were communicating by, by WhatsApp messages, and uh, as soon as I saw her, I was like, oh my God, she's so like, I love her style, I love her look. And, um, and I was like, I have to cut her hair. And at first, what she wanted to have was uh, a shaved head. And I was like, no. oh, then she was like, oh, I'm wearing a mohawk now. And I'm like, okay, Leah, I'm like, you're a really good model. I want to do a variety of different types of styles before we do that. Because once we do that, that's it, you know? I mean, we could change the color all the time, but like with the hairstyle. And I told her about tonight's video, and I was like, please, can I, please, I, I begged her. I was like, can I please cut your hair? She's like, okay. So. <laughs> Okay, so that's why we're going to do something fun tonight, and then we're going to just, we're just going to like have, like, I think what it is, just building that relationship, uh, building that relationship, you know, um, you build a relationship with your models, with your clients, and this is something like, you know, I want to do a hair again, so that's why it's like you, you talk to them, like you, you're, you're an artist with a mission, on a mission, you know, like you say, okay, you know, I was saying to Leah, like, my thoughts about, okay, you know, not <laughs> shaving her head at first, you know, uh, it's because I like the, like, the ideas of, like, wait a minute, I got this idea for you, I got this idea, and then what happened was, I was like, okay, if you have any ideas for pictures, you know, styles, if you like, please just send them to me. So she became a stalker, and she went on my Instagram, and she sent me a few of my pictures, I was like, and I was like, oh, who yeah. And I realized, I'm like, oh, they're my pictures. So that really made my day uh, when she did that. So, um, but yeah, guys, so uh, my name is Sid. For any, uh, anyone joining us, my name is Sid Salton. Um, we have academies here in the UK. Um, we got a big academy in Nottingham, England. And I'm also right now, we're in my little training studio in Edinburgh, Scotland. And uh, yeah, so we're. You okay, Sid? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Cool. All right, we're back in action here. Sorry about that. The. Uh... Yeah, Christina's asking if your eyes are green, so she can't see. <laughs> are my eyes green? No. Um. Oh. Uh, yeah. What color green? What color? I think, I think Christina's thinking about the color. Oh, the color. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, every, so what will happen right now, Leah? We have everyone on Facebook right now thinking about what color you should have. Oh, yeah, so let's do a group vote, guys. What, what color do you think Leah should have? Now, once again, Leah, has, this is her natural, natural color. So she is a, uh, she's a virgin color. I think, I, I'm, I'm going to say the first one. I, I think red. I think Whoa. Really red. Like a proper... Like, like, like my brush. Like, yeah. Oh. Like a, like a, maybe a bit darker, like a blonde blend, like, it look really cool. Ooh. Not all, just like maybe some bit. Yeah. Ooh. So we're almost done here. I actually have this on low speed. I didn't want to like be too loud for the video. Uh, but I think guys, so please tell us what color should Leah have in the comments section. Um, I'm also a regular educator here on, on, on hair brains. So I'm doing videos, I've uh, been doing live video tutorials every month, and you know, sometimes twice a month. So please, if there's anything, I do men's work, I do wet shaving, uh, coloring, I do ladies cutting. So if there's anything you'd like to, for me to share with you, please let me know. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun. Also, we will be in America, yeah, hopefully January. So yeah, so we were just in America, at a, a really cool hair salon called Metropolis uh, uh, Hair and Spa in New Jersey. So hopefully we'll be going back in January. So guys, if you want education in your salon, please let us know. There we go. So I'm just finishing the blow drying and then I'm gonna get back into the cutting and then we're gonna be working with taking a lot of weight off here. But you can see it's, it's looking lovely. She like she's got that little kind of like little twiggy look, you know, uh, where you can actually have a lot of different kind of like even using a round brush, flicking this out here, you know, having a little bit of a flick. I mean, you can actually have 
because uh, she can actually have like a 1960s influence. Um, I'm really going for like a bit more of like a strong like texture, maybe a little bit of like a slight 90s influence. Uh, but I really want something that's just going to be so playful for her. So. Cool. So here we go. Now what I'm going to be doing, so you'll see, so I'm going to be playing around with doing a, a shorter fringe underneath while keeping this bit disconnected. So in the time being, so first I, what I would like to do is I'm going to be working a bit of slice cutting. So working shorter to longer. And I, the reason why I'm doing this is because like I said, her hair is extraordinarily thick and I really want to flatten down. Really want to flatten down her hair. You know, like I really like want to reduce a lot of bulk. And by working with slicing, it will, one, it gives texture, but at the same time, you know, it will flatten down the shape as opposed to maybe point cutting. So opening and closing. I like slice cutting. <laughs> yeah, slice cutting is a great, um, <laughs> is, it really is a great, I um, just want to just do a little bit with my other scissors here. I think they're, my, these other scissors are a little bit more sharper here. Um, don't want to hurt her. And the thing is, I'm not trying to scrape like the way you would do with a razor. Now, could you do this with a razor? Of course. I just choose to do it with my scissors. Um, just because that with my scissors, I can do a variety. Like right now, I'm doing freehand point cutting. Just to, the reason why is it's uh, really just to be a bit more aggressive. I mean, she wants really cool texture. So definitely, um, by opening and closing, you know, really just focusing on what you're doing. There we go. So you see, now when do we know when to stop providing texture? Oh, when do we know when to stop? When All right, you have no hair. when you have no hair, like me. <laughs> uh, well, no, actually, what will happen is when I move the hair around, okay, if you see, it's, it's starting to, to go move up. And also, at the same time, we're starting to see a little bit of um, separation. So right now, the hair is staying up on its own a little bit. That means enough weight is starting to be taken off. So really just going through, and yeah, so playing around, moving the hair around, you know, don't be shy, and then even sometimes I even say to the clients at the end, okay, you know, do you want to feel your hair? How much, you know, does that feel a little bit better for you? So you can even do a little bit of point cutting inside, and before I start doing a bit more interesting texture here. Christina says she would do a 744 or an 844 for the fringe. Ooh. For the rest, I'm still thinking. And I, I wish you could see my hair right now, Christina. <laughs> That's what it is, mine. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I think definitely, I think with color, you know, it's like really important, especially when you're doing creative work. I mean, luckily, I mean, this, this haircut will still look cool on Leah because it, she has like a nice, all over natural dark, dark color. Um, I think really just like, it's good that, you know, but the thing is to get people inspired, you know, and also to talk to your clients and say, okay, get them excited about maybe hair color, especially if they have never had hair color before. You know, Leah's never had hair color before. And it's just like, I want to make sure like, you know, I want, you know, it's kind of like when, you, when you're cutting hair, it's just like, it's like almost like uh, art, you know, and uh, you want to be able to, you know, to complete your haircut, you know, really having, get them excited about it, you know. So I'm just moving this around here. Just having a bit of, a bit of fun, a bit of texture. And then, like I said, then we're gonna have fun in towards the fringe area where, you know, I think, and just blow the hair over. But she's got a lot of hair to work with, so. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take that. Okay. Uh, let me just get the neck brush. 
service. Give me one moment, everyone. I'm just getting that The one neck brush is all the way over here. I got a million of them. She starts to look like she bought her. Sorry, we had a difficulty. Okay, so let's uh, let's have some fun with some. Uh, so, Leah, darling, if you just keep your eyes closed and just keep your head, yeah, like this. I'm just going to be going towards your fringe area. I don't want the hair to go in your face. So, okay. So I'm gonna just pull the clip here. So I wanna make sure I put the clip back here to keep the hair back. And then, so there's a couple different options you can do. Okay, there's a couple different options. So you can actually do, you know, working with uh, the point of your scissors. So depending on what you're trying to achieve, if you want a solid line. I don't want a solid line, I want it very textured underneath. So this is going to be a bit shorter here where we have some long bits possibly coming over. The reason why I'm doing that is one, I want this to be a little bit flatter, but also I want to kind of expose her face a little bit. But at the same time, I, I don't want it to be too short, like short, like, you know, rounded. I want this to be shorter here with some long bits. So, so the way I'm going to do it, um, so you can also do this with a razor. So I normally use my, my Pierre, Plier razor, so I apologize, from Feather, uh, which I've gotten from Hairbrained. And um, what I'm doing is I'm actually using my scissors, and I'm gonna be taking pieces here, going through here. So really, I just want to create like almost like a, in America they call it like a baby fringe, or a, not a, I think they also used to say called a bumper fringe. But uh, yeah, I just wanna just, I kind of like, like, I really sort of, like, that little bit of, um, what's that, Girl Interrupted movie, you know, where it's really mm. cute, you know. Like, yeah, I mean, because, like, because Leia has these, like, elf, like, earth, no, with it, not elf, uh, urchin type qualities, really, you know, beautiful features, and I want to bring that out in her. I really want to bring, I want the people, I want people to see how, how beautiful her face, her bone structure, her face is, and even her eyes. So by exposing, now let's see here, let's see if there's any. Yeah, and then, oh, look at that, so we have that. Cool, let me just blow the hair over. And once again, now the reason why I'm having her tilt back is because when I do the slicing now, I'm going, okay, because I'm right-handed, I'm going over the frontal bone. That's that bone right here, and that big bump here. We all have it, just above the forehead. So because I'm right-handed, I tend to go inwards. So by tilting your client's head like so, and then when I do the slicing, I'm going over, I will have a tendency to flatten down that bone area with the hair, so. She's got, like I said, so it's cool. So are there any questions, Jen? Anything I need to no. know? No? Okay. They're a bit quiet tonight. They're quiet. There's a yeah. lot of people watching you. Oh, that's good. I hope everyone's liking what I'm doing. Uh, please give us a thumbs up if you do. Um, if, if you don't like it, um, don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a bit sensitive this week, so. Yeah. Yeah. So now, now what I would also like to do now, now even though I call this not as cutting, what it is is actually kind of notch cutting. And what I'm actually doing is I'm holding the hair really tight here and I'm gonna go in and out. So I'm just doing that here. 
in, out, in, out. Diamante says hello from Montreal. Oh, hello. That's an interesting name. I've heard that name before. Oh. Diamante. Okay. Turns around. Okay. That way. That's Hmm? Cool. Yeah. I love I, it's like funny, I can't see anything right now. <laughs> uh, so, I know I'm kind of like, I am liking these, these bits here. Do you mind to ask if you would use thinning shears as well? Yeah, you can. Um, you can use thinning scissors, you can use texturizers, you can use a razor. You can use even a glass bottle if it works. <laughs> uh, if you wanted to, uh, you can play around with um, um, even using like doing this as a fade in the back and you can do that with clipper of a comb, scissor of a comb, you can do uh, clipper guards, you know, you could write your name in the back. The beautiful thing about being a hairdresser or a barber is like we have that freedom of doing whatever we want, you know, in a way, you know, to be that, you know, we're artists, we work with our minds, our hands and our heart, you know, and the thing is it's like, you know, like, that's why I believe, like, you know, it's, it's having fun with hair, you know, be creative. It's okay, you know? It's like there's that saying, you know, just imagine how far you can go if you stopped caring about what other people thought of you, right? Just have fun, you know? Have fun, you know? Christina says, um, to that respect to you, you're a great educator. I've learned from you things I've never seen before. And thank you, Jen. You're wonderful. And she says that it looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. What about thank thank Leah? She's mm -hmm. she's the beautiful model here. She's been helping us out. So, like I said, I'm having this like I'm what it is. What this I'm doing everything now with pure feeling. So when I'm cutting hair now, I'm I'm not like necessarily like. Everything is just literally pure freedom, pure feeling. I just want, you know, like having a bit of a feel for, for, for Leah's, you know, hair, the way, you know, and also her, you know, from her bone structure. Um, we can also do, like I said, doing it point cutting over comb. The reason why one, um, you know, I can really break into that there without, um, you know, injuring my fingers, you know. So I can actually just do that here. Another way is actually technically, you'll have it, you know, since I'm going up horizontally with my comb, you know, you have a, still have a tendency to still keep a certain amount of weight, even though if you're point cutting into it, because you're going horizontal with your comb. So right here, I'm going into the crown area. So yeah, so I'm really taking up a lot of weight here now. So it's all that personalization. You know, having that fun with, with your client's hair, get them excited, you know, get them excited about hair, then you get excited, you know, and it's, it's one of the things, you know, that I, I'm a big believer in, is, uh, you know, having that, um, sorry, I just have to stand over here for a sec, so I'm just gonna, I'll be going into that, that, you know, I want these little bits here, kind of coming here. Oh, Diamante says this look is always popular in Montreal salons. Oh, really? Oh, that's great. The, uh, I know, I still have to, I haven't been to Montreal. I've been to Canada before. I just haven't been to Montreal. Um, when I worked at uh, Vida Sassoon, back in the 90s, we had a collection called Aquatic Collection. And uh, one of the haircuts was called The Urchin. And I don't know if any of you guys remember that, and it's like, that's where I, I think I'm taking my inspiration from. Um, it's, uh, you know, very, like, textured, versatile look. Um, something that, like, something that's, like, just been more, you know, like, freedom to the hair. I know. Are we still thinking about her color? Any, any thoughts about hair color? 
Eva says really cute haircut. <laughs> oh, thank you. I know, she does look good. She does look really super cute. I mean... She looks better with shorter hair, I think. She looks better. Yeah, I think the thing is, like, her mullet was cool, but I it think... It distracts from your face. Yeah, that's the thing is, it's like... Um, the mullet was cool, and the reason why I liked her mullet, and normally I don't like mullets now, they're so, like, a bit boring now, because everyone has them now. Um, but what I liked about on her was that she did it herself, meaning she cut her hair, was cutting her hair herself, and that's what I loved about it, also. And that's what, uh, that's what I loved about it, you know? It was that, that, that pure, like, I don't know, just like, yeah, let me just get a pair of kitchen scissors and just hack away and see what happens, you know? Because when I, when, I when I was her age, I mean, I used to have a mullet, and, uh, you know, and, and, I, and believe it or not, my hair was like that short on top with like the hair was that long. And uh, it's just because I couldn't really reach the back. <laughs> That's why I just let it grow and grow. And then uh, it was jet black. Honestly, I thought it looked cool. But when I, see, when I look in pictures, I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> it looked awful. <laughs> Okay, so now what I'm doing is, um, so I'm literally now working on the back here. So I will be now just, you know, I'm going to do a variety of different type of um, softening of the hairline. So I still want to kind of keep still a little bit of like interesting hairline in the back, but I want to texturize that a little bit. So a couple of things you can do. Um, of course, we can do point cutting, so you can soften or, or take the weight off in the hairline. Now, what I would recommend is like if you put your head all the way like this, so you flatten down, you're going to flatten down the, um, the skin here, and then you're going to keep your scissors, keep them flat, not pointed in, because otherwise you're going to stab her, and there's going to be blood everywhere, don't want to do that. And what I'm doing is just going to go up and down. And so I'm just going to point cut into that. You know, like I said, then when you go internally, you could then point cut over comb. And if you notice, I'm using the wide end of my cutting comb. The reason why is because, especially on very thick hair, it really helps easier to grab the hair. So that's why I'm using more or less the thick part of my cutting comb. I Adam will. Adam says this hairstyle makes her eyes pop. Ooh. <laughs> it's true. Wow. <laughs> Your boyfriend better be careful. You're gonna have too many uh, admirers. <laughs> okay, yeah, they might be from around the world and they're all hairdressers, but. <laughs> cool. But, what I'm, but that's the thing is, that's what I really like about this is that you know, everyone is like noticing on how her eyes are popping out now. And I'm not saying you didn't see it before, but I think what's great about this is, is that that's what a haircut can do. You know, you can bring the beauty of your client. And every client is beautiful, even the ones that we hate. Uh, they're, they are beautiful. They are beautiful, I have to tell myself that, you know. Even though the ones that are annoying me, blah, blah, blah. Um, but you know what? The thing is, they're all beautiful. And with the haircut, we can really bring out the bone structure, bring out the eyes. And uh, we can make them look like fabulous, you know? So. Okay, so I'm just, like I said, I'm just doing this little bit here. And then, see, yep. Yeah, so we got a few more minutes and I'm gonna clean up with the neck, with the neck trimmer. Like I said, you know, and that's, these are just literally the finishing parts that I'll be doing. So now let's think about what type of product I can use or we can recommend for Leah to use at home. So now, you, pro, you know, I think the thing is one of the things that what, what I always say to my students is that like, you know, they always say, oh, you know, like, oh, I don't like, I'm not into being a, a selling products to my clients. You're not selling, you're educating your clients about them. And the thing is, they always say they find it hard. Well, just imagine, all right, and I say this to my students, what, what, just imagine if I take those products away from you, 
will you still be able to do your job? And they're like, oh, I won't like it. I need those products. Well, if you need them and you're a professional hair artist, don't you think your clients who are not professional hairdressers and they don't know really too much about how to do hair, don't you think they need the products as well to create that fabulous look that you do, you know? And that's the thing is, that's the way you have to see it as, you know? So especially creating those looks, having that bit of fun, you know, and uh, yeah. Okay, just finishing up, uh, like I said, uh, the more and more I'm cutting this, the more I'm saying, oh wow, it's like I really just want to be playing around with it. Uh, this, she's got such a lovely amount of hair. And I'm so, well, I'm so happy I didn't shave it off uh, the first, you know. I'm glad I had not listen to you, so. <laughs> I know she's gonna be like, I hate sin. I want to do the man. I'm just gonna shave it off. <laughs> so, like I said, the reason why I'm moving it around is that I really need to see the movement. So, if the hair is moving, that means enough weight's taken off. If the, if I move the area and it doesn't move, that means it's still heavy. So that's a great visual aid. So tonight's lesson, we really talked about a lot of visual aids for when we're cutting hair. So I'm just gonna get my trimmers. I'm just gonna be cleaning up her neck hair. Oscar says, good point, very good point. Oh, oh thank you, Oscar. Oscar. And Christina says, I love your attention to details. It says a lot. God, I can sit, honestly, I can sit here for another hour doing her hair and getting these little bits of, um, and I think that's the thing is it's, a uh, little attention to detail, you know, because I want, I want, you know, because uh, Leah, she lives in Glasgow, which is another city, because we're in Edinburgh, Scotland right now, and it's about like, I don't know, about like maybe an hour on the train, but she's gonna go home, She's gonna see her boyfriend, and I'm like, I want her boyfriend to be like, oh my God, I wanna marry you, you know? Like, um, and I really want, you know, even Leah, like even, I want people on, on the train when she's at home, like, you know, on the train ride home, be like, oh my God, I love your hair. And that's the thing is, that's what I kind of realized, it's like, it's not just so much about myself, about my gratification, but also what I'm trying to aim for is I want Leah to, to look and feel great. I want Leah to feel really, really comfortable with this type of style. Um, so now I'm just checking the balance. Like I said, I, I, um, I can't, I don't really, it's very hard for me. I don't know why tonight, it's very hard to, um, I can't really see exactly what I'm doing. Um, I got my glasses on, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go back in one last time because I have just a few, I have about two more minutes here. Yeah. Oh, she's looking cool. Hey. You liking it? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, do I get to live? <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna beat me up with your skateboard deck? No? no? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm doing is, just say if you want a little bit more um, uh, texture, you can lift up the hair. Remember, go back to your theory of just classic cutting. The higher you elevate the hair, the more weight you're gonna take off, okay? So by elevating a little bit higher, okay, and just really going in. Like I said, I love creating lots of cool texture. And like I said, you could do this with a razor, you could do it with texturizers, I'm um, doing with scissors. If you want to use a pair of clippers and really break into that, you can do that. So there's a lot of things you can do. Okay, so I'm gonna put the I'm going to check out again. John Dio Yane says, thank you, very inspiring. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. It's, uh, you know, it's really interesting, especially I've been up since 5.30 this morning. Uh, it is now almost 8 p.m. here in Edinburgh, Scotland. And, you know, it's like, I, I think the thing is, it's like, you know, sharing knowledge, you know, if I can help one person tonight, you know, just by, you know, we, today's lesson, we're talking more about visual aids of checking your haircuts. Um, and I think the thing is, it's like, if we can help one person, you know, that's what I look for, you know. 
to be able to share knowledge and just just have a bit of fun, you know, and enjoy, you know, uh, enjoy cutting hair. So I'm very grateful for everyone, everyone that's been watching tonight. Cool, so let me use a couple of different products. So I'm just going to be first using a dry texture spray, just because our hair is burnt. We, we conditioned it before and uh, I just want to add a little bit of dryness to it. Um, so just to help, I mean her hair is so soft now, it's lovely. Uh, uh, what is it? It's kind of like, you know what's reminding me of? A little bit of like uh, Demi Moore and Ghost, that type of like 90s look, you know, which is, I mean, trust me, I, I wish I could look like Patrick Swayze. I mean, that would be brilliant, you know. Um, You'd be on the pottery. I know. <laughs> okay, so then I'm actually going to be using, for this short look, I'm going to be using uh, more of like a dry paste. So, working through my hands. Oscar's like, yay, product time. <laughs> I mean, you can have so much, so much fun with it, you know. I mean, I think the thing is, it's like, I don't want to... The one thing is, I don't want to have to rely on so much product to do the job here. Because I know, like, you know, she's going to go skateboarding, you know, and uh, the wind, especially the uh, weather in Edinburgh is <laughs> always not so forgivable. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of, like, want to create something that, like, you know, she, you know the, the haircut provides all that texture. Not so much I'm relying so much on the product. If that, the product should just be the icing on the cake. And I just want, like I said, I just want to put enough product in there just to control it, just so she doesn't feel like, like a fluffy bunny rabbit, you know? Um, just something, give a bit of dirt, bit of, bit of, um, bit of edge, like a bit of something to it, so. Let's put it just a touch more. But yeah, so I'm very excited. We're gonna be using Mood Hair Color uh, for her color when we decide <laughs> what color we want to. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. So, you know, working with the Mood Color, uh, we have, oh, yeah, so this is, we got some, some cool colors here. So we're gonna have some fun, you know, playing around some, some hair colors. So yeah, definitely. I really can't wait, so we're definitely going to have a cool chat about that, so. Cool, so, like you see, I got these long bits coming over and playing around, so. I'm kind of like just playing around, it's like reminiscence of, uh, of Susie, um, of Sue Catwoman from the 70s, from the punk rock era, you know, to say like where it was quite flat here and then coming out a little bit, like little spiky bits, like little devil horns, because I think, I think uh, Leah's definitely got a cheeky side to her, so, yeah, so, yeah, cool, so definitely cool texture, having a lot of fun, and then, yeah, will I probably go back over this after the video? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I probably will, just to give another once over, just to see if there's any areas I, I don't feel comfortable with, or if something she doesn't like, but that's normal, this is how a haircut develops, you know? And, uh, but yeah, so I hope everyone liked what I did tonight. And a uh, big thank you to all of you watching tonight. And I'm uh, very, very grateful uh, for, for everyone attending tonight's lesson. Uh, as a bit of a recap, uh, once again, so I didn't really focus too much on uh, too much heavy sectioning off the hair. I just worked with vertical sections on the sides, uh, working from shorter to longer. The reason why we're working from shorter to longer, I kept a little more length in the perimeter. Then working vertical sections forward, then working diagonal sections towards the back and vertical in the crown. Then in the top, I worked from shorter to longer, keeping some length towards the front. But once again, I worked with a little bit of a cheeky little fringe shoulder underneath with a little disconnection and then working lots of cool textures. So, 
Cool. So thank you very much, everyone. Is there any last-minute questions, gentlemen?